Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a highly requested look. I had this makeup on yesterday on Instagram and I actually kind of popped on Instagram to ask you guys what videos I should film. And I had so many people ask me to film whatever I was wearing on my face yesterday. So that is exactly what we did today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lisa and I'm a former makeup artist and MAC cosmetics trainer. I love teaching makeup and I love teaching it in a very simple, approachable way for the everyday woman. So if you were into those types of videos, I hope that you will subscribe. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm starting with prepping my eyelids for eyeshadow and I'm still loving the Trish McAvoy eyeshadow primer. I have the shade Bare. I really love this because it cancels out and totally brightens the eyelid. I also like to take it up to the brow to work as a brow highlight. Um, a lot of these Natasha Denona little mini palettes are lacking a good brow highlight shade. So this primer kind of allows me to achieve that look without needing a shadow. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with shadows. So I am using the mini nude palette. This is what I had on yesterday. And I had so many questions um, from you guys on Instagram stories of this palette, of what I had on my eyes. So this is everything that I had on my eyes, this whole palette. And we're gonna start with um, working into the transition shade. And I'm just using this shade right here. I'm gonna work this into the transition shade. It's just a really pretty kind of soft orange shade. Pack it onto the outer corner and then work it in. It's okay if you get some color on the lid. Then next I took this shade right here and I'm gonna pack this on my outer corner um, and kind of work my way into my inner lid. And I actually ended up spraying this brush with a setting spray to get it a little wet. I tried to pick up the product just with a brush and um, I had a hard time getting like pigment to lay down. I had more fallout. So I did spray my brush. And if you notice, I'm just kind of pressing it on so that I really get that uh, color to deposit onto the lid. Wetting it is also going to magnify and make that um, kind of like a gold flex that you see more obvious. And you can feel free to take it all the way to the inner corner. I am gonna go in with a lighter shade too, but it's okay if you take that all the way to the inner corner. I do find that you have to kind of layer it a little bit, this shade in particular, to really get like a rich color. It can kind of lay sheerly and you see that sparkle, but you don't see as much color unless you really take the time to pack it on. Okay, next I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, the lightest shimmery shade, and I'm just gonna pack this right in the inner corner of my eye. You can go directly on top of what we just laid down, but I'm not gonna bring it all the way over. I'm literally just gonna place it like right here in the inner corner, and then I am going to kind of work it on the inner corner, lower inner corner. Okay, then next I'm gonna take the darkest uh, matte shade right here. It's a really warm red brown and I'm going to use my 202 brush and I'm just going to get a little bit on the tip, not much. I don't really wanna like dig my brush in there. I'm gonna tap it off so I don't have a lot of fallout and I'm gonna work this in the outer corner and I'm really gonna just try and keep this right in the inner corner. You'll see that I don't really move my brush too far from where I'm placing it. I'll place it here and then I'll just kind of keep it in the same spot and wiggle it back and forth rather than like really dragging it over. I really just want this outer corner to be deepened, but I don't want to deepen the entire crease. And I will go back and grab more color if I need it. I always like, especially when I'm working with the darkest color, to just start with a very minimal product. Next, I'm gonna do the other side, but I will probably go back and perfect both sides. I just want to get that color laid there. So I'm just keeping it in that one little place. And you can see my brush isn't really coming off the skin. It's staying there and it's, I'm just like moving it in circular motions right there. Now I've got that color really concentrated there. I do think it needs to be softened and blended, but I'm not gonna use the 202. I wanna use the 201 because it's like, you know, just bigger and fluffier. Um, it's gonna shear it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the first shade we laid down, which was this shade here, this really soft, soft orange. And I'm gonna pick a little bit up on the 202, just a little, kind of blot it on my hand. And I'm just gonna run over the edge of where I laid that darkest shade down. The idea is to get a really kind of soft, diffused look while still having, you know, that deeper shade on the outer corner. Okay, I think that this side needs to be blended a little more. It's kind of patchy, so I'm gonna go and do that. When in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> Some of the best advice, makeup advice at least. 
Okay, next I did tight line the eyes and I think this step is super important. It's one of those subtle little changes that just elevates the eye look. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, Fly Pencil and this is the shade In Big Truffle. It's just like a really dark, rich brown and I'm going to tight line my upper waterline here. I did also take this pencil and I did run a little bit of it on my lower lash line from the outer corner. I stopped about halfway over and I am gonna smoke this out with shadow, but I want there to be a little bit of rich color there more and I can't really achieve that with just the shadow. So I um, just applied a little liner and then I'm gonna take a um, 204 smudget brush and I actually just picked up this light, light orange that we're, we keep using. Because I have that pencil down first, it's gonna still have quite a bit of depth, but this is just gonna kind of soften that a little bit. It basically just softens that liner. Okay, and the last step for eyeliner is to line the inner waterline, and I think this step is so important. I'm using the Makeup by Mario pencil, and I'm just gonna brighten that inner waterline. This is just that step that, I mean, I feel like really makes you like wide awake. I think it just gives a subtle like glam to the look, brightens the eye. The, what it is is it's that contrast of having this like light liner right next to that lower lash liner. It's darker. Then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, apply uh, pr lash primer and mascara. And today I'm using the Dior Lash Primer. This brown shimmer shade is really pretty. It's like bronze, but when the light hits that like kind of glitter flex, you see a little bit of a like golden green shade. And for mascara, I'm using the Lancome Lash Edol Mascara. This one's really nice. It really helps keep the lashes curled all day. It's very lightweight, very lengthening. It does give volume, but it's not like a real volumizing, thickening mascara. It's more like major length. Adding that lash primer is going to help give more volume though. What I love about this mascara is you can really, really build it and it's not gonna get clumpy or too thick. Okay, moving on to lips. I had so many questions about what lip combo I had on and I have to say I used a new product that I have had sitting on my vanity for like a couple of months now and I just never picked it up and used it because I wasn't that interested or excited about it. And it totally is gonna be my like final step in every lip application that I do. So first I started with the Natasha Denona Lip Liner. This is the shade NP2 Ilana. I love this. I keep talking about it because it's so good. The formula is so nice and soft and buttery. And this particular shade is really nice. It's a very soft, muted, kind of cool tone nude pink. I'm using a little bit of a brighter lip color, so I didn't really want that clearly defined lip line around the lip. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Live It Up. I love this shade. It's a really pretty, um, kind of light, cool tone pink. Mm, I love it, it's so pretty. And then next, this is the product that completely, I think totally, cause I wear this color all the time. I wear this combination all the time and I have never had so many people message me asking me what was on my lips. And I added this product by Fenty Beauty. It's the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. And I believe the shade name is Hint Hint, which it's actually like totally clear. This has a little bit of like my product on from yesterday on the wand you can see. So, um, but otherwise it is like, totally clear look. So if you see any color there, that's basically you're seeing the lipstick and lip liner from yesterday, but um, it just made the lips, look, I mean, it completely transformed the look. So I'm gonna put it on right now so you guys can see. It gave the just the most beautiful, creamy, glossy look without any shimmer, without changing the color. It just gave that super high shine, like glossy lip, it's just, it's beautiful. I will top this on every lip color combination that I do going forward. You guys are gonna see this in a ton more videos. It feels so good and I just love the, the shine that it gives without feeling sticky or glossy at all. In fact, it doesn't even really feel like a gloss on the lips. And that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Uh, yeah, so this eye look was simply created with this one little mini palette from Natasha Denona, and I love it. So thank you guys for all the love on Instagram. I definitely think while it's neutral, it does have some fun kind of um, elements to it with that shimmer on the lid that has a little bit of that greeny gold flex. So yes, it's a neutral look, but I think it's kind of elevated to have a little bit more like a little more sass to it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys so much for your time and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.